Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Technic Street Motorcycle. Set number 42036, 375 pieces. Pretty cool little set, so um, they, Technic has come out with a motorcycle every couple years. Um, they did a street motorcycle about five or six years ago, so this is a different rendition of it. And then similar to the one they did previously it does come with an alternate build to do more of like a roadster or what they call a retro bike so um, just judging by the picture on the box um, this isn't really gonna be as good as the other one I really liked the one they did previously so I don't know how they could necessarily improve it so let's get into the build and figure it out maybe maybe it'll prove me wrong that's kind of why we do these videos is to see what's different or unique there's a lot of different building techniques that are always used so you never know we have two instruction books instruction book one builds the main model that you see on the instruct the the packaging and then instruction book two is for the alternate model so you can only choose one, can't build both of them. It's an extremely large sticker sheet that has very large stickers that'll go on the panels. And then we have these big motorcycle wheels with the tires. And these tires are kind of a uh, hard rubber. It's not the standard soft kind of squishy Lego rubber tire type material. It's a slightly different material. So I'm going ahead and putting them on now and then I'm going to move them to the side because I'll probably put those on towards the end of the build but they're so large and space space consuming that I'm just gonna do that. So we have those built put to the side so we have four bags, and they're unnumbered bags. So what that means is we're basically just going to open all the bags. You can see they're assorted sizes. So we have small, small, medium, and large. So let me go ahead and open all these up and um, get ready for our build. All right, so we have everything dumped out and ready to go. We have large pieces here and here. Got my panels back there, and then I've got all my smaller elements kind of right off to the side. You can see some of them right here. So um, let's go ahead and get right into this. I'm not going to waste any time. We'll start with this angled lift arm. We have five of these three long friction pins put in here. We're going to put the shorter end, the one long length in. Now we have two these pieces in the instruction book. It doesn't quite show these as black. It kind of shows them as more of a dark gray, so that's kind of confusing. And I know there's always printing variations to all the instruction books. So sometimes the colors can be off. And that's a little frustrating, but you kind of get used to it when you build a lot of Lego sets like I do. There's our first little frame element. Next. So the fun about building Technic sets is you start from the inside out and a lot of times it's kind of a, a discovery process as you're going through and building it to figure out exactly what you're building. So this 
piece goes here. Seven long left arm right here. Two friction pins in there. talking about it's like these are all just kind of randomly placed on there we don't really know what's going on or why these are placed where they're at so we're gonna have to build it and discover why things are in their own place red piece it's similar to the dark gray ones we were just using except it's a different color see it it's not quite parallel with this piece and I'm pretty sure that's on purpose I have a piece here and a Technic friction pin and this will Let's sandwich all that together. Okay, we have a pretty big frame going now. Alright, so we have a 13 long red lift arm. A couple friction pins. Lift arm. there you can see we're creating another angled piece once again nothing's really perpendicular right now and that's kind of what they show in the instructions they show kind of a one-to-one -one picture and what it's supposed to look like and it looks like we're matched up pretty well all right next where's the piece I'm looking for here it is Couple friction pins and a three long axle. Now we'll go there. And we have a shock absorber. Goes there. No, 
another 13 long lift arm. Now we're going to use a couple stickers. Sticker number four. We have two of them. They're basically going to go on this lift arm. Just like that. So I believe that is the seat for the street bike. Alright, got our two stickers on there. Now we're going to go ahead and do a panel. Panel number one. And you can tell right there, there's a little molded number one right there. So that's when they say panel number one, that that's the, the number they're talking about. And then here's number two. You can see there's the molded number two right there. So we it's basically the, the mirrored copy of number one. So we have a molded number one and number two. Let's see next. Is it that piece? No. It's uh, this this piece. We have three long left arm, I mean uh, friction pins. And then we have pin connectors. And you don't have to line these slots up, but I, I like to. But then again, I'm kind of OCD about some things. We have pins, or uh, trans red. And we have uh, a piece that goes there. And then, so that's a, a panel piece. Alright, we have a couple more little pieces to put on to finish off this back little panel piece So we have the brake lights and then some exhaust ports. Turn it around, we have sticker number five, which is right here. And sticker number two. Did you see that? That just flew right out of my hand. I was sliding that axle in and uh, it slipped and I pushed it all the way off. Um, the good thing about the Technic is um, it's extremely strong, so uh, no worries there. Nothing fell off. Alright, we have a three long axle. We'll slide in here and that will hold on that entire back piece. Put that to the side. We have another little sub build to do. Start with this piece. A couple of these pin connector type things.
three long left arm. All right. So we have this non-friction piece. Four long axle. pins okay so we put that down so we're kind of building these little sub assemblies so now we're on to a, another different one this looks like we're gonna build a little gear assembly where's that red axle joiner there it is here and we have an eight long axle with a stop put another bushing on have this large gear now we have three of these smaller kind of medium sized gears there you can see they all turn easily we line this up with one of these axles This is going to work out. Looks like this axle slides through here. show a little diagram on the instructions that this looks like how it's supposed to line up okay that looks good next we have a five long axle with a stop we'll slide through here so that's where our shock absorber will to bushing there. Another axle with two bushings back there. Go ahead and attach one of these tires and wheels with another bushing we have this gear that will interlock those
up there. Well, that looks good. I have this frame element that goes on the bottom that will lock everything together. So that's our back wheel all locked in. I have a large gear back here. Medium sized gear right there. Got some pins and then some lift arms that goes there I have one thin lift arm or thin bushing it goes right there all right that's kind of our, our gear train. And it'll tie into that. Alright, let's build our engine block now. Have these little block frames. piston rods and then we're going to attach some pistons to them once we get the whole drive shaft built well I guess the instructions show it now okay so that's that's it Slide it in there. Four long axle will slide right here. I have another engine block piece. It'll go right here. We have two more engine block pieces, not quite sure why. Um, oh, come on. This is not lining up. Go ahead and use these other ones. So it's it's like a wide V4 type of engine block.
Let me make sure this is on right. So they show this one down. And this one being up. Okay. Looks like it's on right. this other engine block on and then we'll push this axle all the way through turn it that way rotate this up there. Finally going to sandwich that together. A couple friction pins on there. have a little double assembly to make. It's basically the same thing. in together now. And it interlocks with the, the gearing. So you can see when I turn this, our pistons are now turning. So that's cool. The motorcycle in general is very very uh, unstable at this point. All right, so now we have these chain links. You can see that they are very small. And you just connect, connect them together like this. So that's four, or five. That's five of them connected together. So I need to do thirty total. Make a long chain. It's two, four, six, eight, ten. Try to count them as I go. So I make sure I get my thirty on. Fifteen, two, three, four, five, that's twenty. One, 
two, three, four, five, that's twenty-five. Need five more. Get one, two, three, four, five. Bring this over. So these pieces here basically wrap around this thing. turn the back wheel, turns all that gear train, and then our pistons of our engine rotate. So how cool is that? All right, so we're gonna stop this part of the video here. We're gonna have part two uh, tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe. Check out my other videos. If you like these type of videos, then I've got a slew of them on my channel, so this is the best spot for you to be at. So subscribe, check out my other videos, and we'll see you tomorrow.